been talking over the video. So Mission Skyline started with us asking a bunch of questions. How can we use existing mobile technology to possibly improve EV performance? Well, what if we could actually get a sense for what was happening in every single individual battery in that system over the course of the entire vehicle's life? Or what if we could create a historical data set, high resolution of powertrain performance for every mile that a driver drove? Well, to do that, we created this system called Mission Skyline. And Mission Skyline basically starts by collecting very high resolution data on every single electric vehicle subsystem. And by high resolution, I mean once every 10 seconds. We're collecting data, and we store that data on an onboard vehicle computer. And rather than reinvent the wheel, we're using an existing platform. We use a tablet computer running an Android or a Linux-based operating system. And then we can leverage the tools within that Android computer in order to be able to analyze and view that data. Now, in terms of on the vehicle, we can create a dashboard that is very high functioning, that is highly customizable, and we can actually give a driver an opportunity to uh, view any data that they want uh, with regards to their vehicle. But more importantly, we can leverage the 3G connection that comes with an Android uh, to transmit that data to a web-based interface like we have here. And here we created the Skyline uh, web-based portal. And in this portal, we don't just have the data for one particular vehicle, we can look at an entire fleet and understand what is happening at high resolution. So here we clicked in, and I'm showing you data from our Mission R motorcycle at the race. And there's four key parts to this interface. So first is all the different events, including every time that vehicle was used or was charged. Up on the upper left, it's hard to read, but that's every single channel of data acquisition that we're streaming wirelessly off that vehicle. And on the lower left, you have all the GPS data, a Google map of everywhere the vehicle's been. And on the main interface, we're showing a graph of whatever data from any channel we've collected. Now here, we're just showing motor speed, but say in the race, we wanted to understand what was happening with the battery pack during the race. We just drag the battery pack data onto the graph. We zoom in to the portion of the data that's most relevant to us. You can see we're doing this at very high resolution, you know, really at 10 times a, 10 times a second. Uh, and now we can track what's happening to the battery and the motor at every corner and every straightaway of the race. For a vehicle in the real world, we could do that wherever the vehicle is. So what if we want to take this to another level of detail? What if we want to have understand what's happening to an individual battery within the pack? Right? Battery life is one of the key risks that the EV faces. Well, what we can do is our BMS is capturing data on every single cell within the system. We can drag all of those cell voltages into the graph and essentially what we have here is we've turned every vehicle that is running our system into a roving battery lab across all the temperature spectrum, across all the different use cases. Uh, now there's a lot of data that maybe we're collecting that we won't be able to analyze through this interface. So we also created the ability to export data out of this so that you can play with it in a, a tool like Excel. So here, one of the things as a powertrain developer that we care a lot about is the torque delivered by the motor uh, at different RPMs, at different motor speeds. So uh, what we do through the interface is we pull in, pull in the data, we export it, and now we can create a density graph uh, for that particular time period, what were the different torques that were delivered across a range of motor speeds. So what do you see here? What is Mission Skyline really? Well, we're a powertrain company advancing the power, uh, performance of electric powertrain technology. In order to do that, we wanted to connect low-level, high-resolution data acquisition with internet connectivity, mobile electronics that are ubiquitous now. You know, earlier you, did, uh, you heard a presentation, every vehicle is going to have the internet connected to it. Now, initially, we developed this system for ourselves, for the vehicle manufacturers we work with, to enable a better uh, electric powertrain design, to improve powertrain component performance. But you can imagine where a system like this could go. When you can create high resolution, low, red, uh, you know, low level data acquisition from your vehicle, uh, this can be used for a preventative maintenance system for the entire electric powertrain. You can imagine this going into warranty management for something like batteries, which is one of the biggest risks that EVs face. You could use this for fleet management. The key is the data itself. So with the network DV, we can start to create a data system like this. And once you have the data system in place, uh, the opportunities for new innovation and new levers of control just continue to grow. Great. You can stay there for a couple of, a couple of seconds. Let's